Did you know that Govi did more than just RGB lights? Well, in fact, they do. This is their humidifier with a night light. This does what it says on the tin pretty much, but it is beneficial for several reasons. This one is the three liter capacity and it works with Google, Alexa and Siri and a few others. It has a two times humidification speed and it can also help with little ailments like dry skin, dry throats and some allergies. There is a timer which is 1 to 25 hours and it is from Govi so we do have some RGB and app functionality. Okay then, so let's take a closer look then. I got this one from Amazon. I got it a few months ago though. This one cost me around £60 but it's actually only £39 in the UK right now. The time of recording, I will leave links down in the description for your convenience. I was pleased to see that we get 4.3 stars out of 5 with 290 independent reviews. So we're off to a great start there. It comes in this large plain box. This model is the H7140. That is important for the application. We'll discuss this shortly. We have a few booklets here, a thank you note, a user manual and a heater function manual. Next, we have the generic power supply, the water filter, a lid for the water tank, the water tank and the base. The base has a nice modern curved design with a white finish. On the front we have a single operational button. This turns on and off the power. It also changes the mode. Then we've got a few LED indicators, the Wi-Fi indicator and the low and high settings. Then inside we have all the components. This is also where you would put your essential oils. On the rear we have the power supply socket and the caution sticker recommends that we clean this out every three days or so. I also recommend, especially if you're using essential oils. On the bottom, we've got four rubber feet to stabilize the unit, and we've also got a little vent for airflow. We do get a water filter included. This is loads of tiny little beads in this little plastic unit here. It acts as a water filter. It clips inside the water tank. There's two little pins in the bottom of the water tank and a rubber grommet at the bottom there. It just simply clicks and locks into place like so. Once the water tank is ready, you can stand this on the base and it's now ready to fill up. Let's go ahead and plug this in and get it all ready. So when the lid's on, we can turn that. Oh, so it just changes the direction of the steam. When you're ready to fill it up, just grab your kettle or your jug. It also has the max fill line visible, so you're not going to overfill this. To take full advantage of your humidifier, we want to install the Govi Home application. You can do this by scanning the QR code on the box, or you can also search for it in the Google and Apple stores. I already have this installed, so we're just going to update and then open the application. You should see your device turn up straight away, but if it doesn't, you can press the plus icon in the top right corner. This will find any devices that's powered on that's within range. You can then take a mental note of the model number here if you have several devices, but if you're only using one or two devices, this likely isn't necessary. So you can just continue with the setup. Once you've found your product in the application, simply power it on and off to sync it up to your device. You can set it up directly to your Wi-Fi, just simply add in your user details and network password, but it will still work over Bluetooth. Can I quickly interrupt you to say thank Thank you guys for helping us reach 2,000 subscribers and over a million channel views. It's amazing to me guys, I really appreciate your support. If you find any of the videos helpful or you enjoy the content or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, then consider leaving a like on all of my videos, subscribing to the channel, back to the video then. Okay then, as I briefly mentioned, we can also use this as an essential oil diffuser. I'm using some generic oils here, I will also leave links in the description if you're interested in these but you simply remove the water tank take care not to spill any water because we do have it filled at this point and then we simply add a few drops of our favorite scented oils into the base I like the lavender scent but you can use any and then you simply put your water tank back on and it's ready to go we're gonna have a beautiful lavender smell it is a shame we don't have smell vision yet because I'm pretty sure you guys would really enjoy that lavender scent. I guess you'll have to just take my word for it guys, but it does smell fantastic. We're also using this, the Govi Hygrometer. 
This tells you the temperature and the humidity in a room. You can also pair this up to your humidifier, so if the humidity drops below the desired amount in any of the rooms, then this will automatically tell the Govi application and it will kick in. If we come back into the application for a moment, I'll briefly show you the features and functions of this. So if you are using the hygrometer, it will also display the humidity in the room and the room temperature. But as you can see here, it shows that we're connected and it's really simple to use. First, we have the power button. This is self-explanatory. It's on and off. There are three main tabs to pay attention to, the manual, the custom and the automatic. We'll go with the manual settings. Here we have the misting level. This is a little slider that can be moved incrementally or it can be set to minimum, medium or max. I like to leave mine somewhere in the middle. Then we have the scheduling tab. Now this is pretty cool. We can customize our times here, but you can also select whether you want this to repeat on a daily basis or every day. You can also set your misting level from one to eight, and you can also select whether you want this on manual or auto. You can also use this at night time and you might not want the night light on, so you can disable this. Next, we have the timer. This is one to 24 hours, but it does have a one hour standby, giving you 25 hours in total. The timer is self-explanatory really, so we will move on to the modes. As this is Govi, it does have some color customization. You have your basic controls, your brightness, zero to 100. This isn't as bright as I would have hoped, but it is fairly colorful and it does glow quite nice at night time. The colors are also very basic and simplified. We have your red, orange, yellow, green, aqua blue, dark blue, purple and white. And we also have some color wheels and a color slider. There is plenty to experiment with. Then if we come on to the scenes tab, we've only got five basic scenes here, but we've got forest, which is some greens. We've got ocean, which is some blues. We've got wetland. We've got leisurely, which is some ambient purples and multicolors. And then finally, we've got a sleep. And then at the bottom of the home page, we've got the temperature unit where you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I leave mine on F. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all of the Govi features for the three liter humidifier. And although it is pretty basic and simplistic, I do really like this. I think it's ideal for dry environments. Like I said, it does have many benefits. I actually like the look of this thing and I do use it quite often as a diffuser. The mist is effective and customizable. And like we've discussed, it's capable of giving out a really nice scent for most of the day. It does require some maintenance and cleaning, but that is to be expected. It's really user friendly. In conclusion, I can easily recommend this because of how easy it is to use the free application, voice features, it works well and it's effective, it is well made, it's very affordable, and it's also beneficial for some allergies and things like that. You can use it remotely or manually, and for $39.99, I personally think that's a really good price for such a good product. I will leave links down in the description, the links are affiliate links, and you are directly supporting the channel by using them. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching the video. If you found any part of it helpful or you enjoyed any part, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys, I appreciate all of you, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.